Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Today I'm going to be filming um, a really gorgeous brown smoky eye um, that I loved and you guys seem to like as well. So yeah, we just gonna just get into it. And I'm also going to be doing how I tie my turbans um, at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that as well. So, um, we're gonna do eyebrows. Yes, eyebrows first because they need some help right now. Um, I did just, um, clean them up. I cleaned them up with this tool right here. I don't have time for plucking, waxing, uh-uh. I just go in between, um, where the extra hairs are and shave them off with this. I just got this um, brow definer and I'm loving it. It's so easy to use um, and it works amazing with how I do my, my brows. So just defining the outer portion and measuring where I want it to start. When I get to the tail, I just kind of flick it up. I mean the front end not the tail I kind of flick it up using my pro and conceal palette which I've been using since I started my YouTube channel um, I'm gonna clean up the brows all right brows on you raise me up so I can stand up. I'm going to be taking a highlight, in this case, oh darling, but you can put any highlights that you would like. And I'm setting the tippy tops of my eyebrow. The high points, that's the more professional way of saying to be top. I'm going to be taking orange soda, um, which is very similar to Chickadee by Makeup Geek, and then Sienna, which is similar to um, Cocoa Bear. So if you don't have this palette, you can use those. And I'm just blending out my crease so that highlight blends well with my crease and it's just a natural gradient from up down down up i'm going to go in with sienna just define my crease and i'm kind of winging it out i'm kind of instead of making like a circular thing i'm kind of winging it out because I am going to be using wing eyeliner with this look. So defining our crease and winging. And this crease is a little more downwards than this one. My eyes are completely different shapes. And that's really annoying. Oh my gosh, my battery is about to die. Enemy of progress. I rebuke you. And taking orange soda, blending out that sienna. All right, grabbing my um, Lorac Pro um, palette, and I believe this is in the shade. This is in the shade. Um, the original Pro Palette. I'm um, grabbing Espresso and plopping that on the. You know, I'll just use this mirror. I'm gonna put that all over the lid. It's gonna be the base for our glitter. So basically, do like you're doing a smoky eye, and then put glitter on top. So taking espresso, packing it on the lid so we don't have any gaps because if we do have gaps for our glitter, we want there to be this nice dark brown color to 
make up for it. And I'm also winging this color out as well. Then taking um, a smaller blending brush, I'm going to be taking Sable, which is the color right next to it, and it's just a lighter uh, brown, and I'm blending out Espresso with it. We're gonna get to the glitter fun fun using the serum as an ad adhesive anything that's um, slightly tacky lip gloss um, you can use or if you have glitter glue then you can use it as well I'm just not gonna buy a glue and I don't like using lash glue as glitter glitter glue because it can be too tacky and I uh, it kind of gets pat too packed on but if that's what you want to do with this look, do you boo boo this a brown glitter, which I got from like a glitter pack at Walmart. You just want to make sure that the glitter is really fine um, and be careful when you're using it close to your eye um, because it getting to your eye is not going to be good. Just using my finger, I'm going to pack it on. And then if there's anything missing, or if we want to clean up anything, then we can go in with a brush. Now I'm happy with the glitter. Um, you can pack on as much as you want. This is kind of the look I was going for. Now I'm just going to take a makeup wipe, wipe it um, off my face, and do my highlight and contouring. And I'll come back and finish off the tutorial. And I'll put my actual highlight and contouring video um, down below. But just for time sake. And I don't really enjoy watching long tutorials. So... Um, for time's sake, I'll just um, put that for people who are interested in that. So yeah, I'll be right back. All right, we have highlighted um, and we have highlighted and cream contoured, and now I am setting or baking my face. I'm using the Sasha Buttercup powder today. I I've been using the Laura Mercier too much, <laughs> so I've decided to expand my horizons and play with more than just one setting powder. I'm going to be using my NYC liner. It is still my favorite eyeliner and it's $2. Um, the only thing it's hard, really hard to use because the till of the um, wing part, the brush, that's it, the applicator, ha, <laughs> found the right word. The applicator um, is a little wiggly so it's harder to use for beginners be beginners but um i really it's really black and it's awesome and it stays all day and i'm just going to do my wing so i'm going to be using the lena lashes in monroe or lash line i am going to take this NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Dark Brown, I believe. Yep. Yep. Yes. Yes. Give it to me. Espresso. I'm going to set it. Small little, small little brushy. I'm going to grab, where's the highlight? The same highlight I used on my brow bone. And just pop that. My tear duct. This excess powder. 
using the highlight of the black radiance um contouring kit um i love this thing have i told you guys that i love it because i do so much i'm gonna line my lip with pitch liner by colourpop if you want you can make this like a dark brown look and just be brown from head to toe but that's not what I did in the picture, so I'm trying to follow that as closely as possible. Kapow by ColourPop. Um, I'm obsessed with ColourPop. I love their lip products um, and their eyeshadows, actually. I haven't tried the brows, though. And you can leave it like this if you'd like um, but always got to do extra stuff so I'm going to take trap which is just like a lighter version of Kapow it's a little pink here too put it in the center of the lip Oh yeah, that is the finished look. Oh, hold on, let me spritz. Um, and then now I'm going to show you guys how I tie my head wrap. Hold on. So you can use a regular old scarf. Um, and just make sure it's equal parts. And then just, it's really simple. Just wrap it around the back of your head like so. And crisscross the ends like so and start twisting real pretty tightly so they kind of just coil um, and since I already have this little ponytail which is going to use that as a guide um, if I didn't um, I would just wrap it together until I have a little unicorn horn. I'm just going to adjust and then, you know, do something with my edges and get get myself together. But yeah, that's basically how I tie my little turbans. If you don't want this showing, just um, braid your hair, hair back or just lay it flat. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mwah.